welcome back. It's the two-handed hello today and I want to talk to everyone about budgeting on how to first set up the first budget. Now budgets will be tweaked here and there as our months and years go on. Not every single month is going to be exactly the same. But in order to even start budgeting, you need to know what do you spend your money on. So take the first one or two months, depending on how much of a spender you are, and actually look at the two months of what you spend your money on. Now, if you are only electronic and you only use your debit card and credit cards and things in that nature, then you could do this by pulling the last couple statements. But if at any time you use cash for anything, you will need to write down for two months, you like that, that's my writing down, for two months what you're spending your money on. That's electronic, cash, um, anything like gift cards too for the two months so you kind of know your habits. And at the end of that two months, you can analyze everything that you spend your money on and you can really get a good idea of where your money is going. Now, a lot of those things we can't change. Um, if you have a mortgage or a rent, we still have to pay that. Um, though, of course, if you rent, you could look for somewhere that's a cheaper rent, but in real real out, whoo, having trouble talking. In reality, that's most likely not gonna happen. Our rent and our mortgage is something we have to pay. And it should be usually the same amount every time, unless you have an impound account for your mortgage and your property taxes go up. Okay, anyways, but there are certain things that we can take a look at and maybe decrease. Um, our utilities for central air, water, if you use cable, um, gas. Most of us, including myself, we just use it and I pay the bill. Now, during the summer, we use our electricity the most because I now live in California and it's super hot and I'm not really a hot type of weather girl. I like to be nice and cool, but Throughout the years, I have had to monitor, and sorry, sparkle effect, monitor my spending in utilities and make sure I'm not going overboard on it. But usually our mortgage, rental, and utilities are a staple. That's something we have to pay. We also pay daycare, and we really don't have a say in the prices in daycare. It is what it is. We have to pay it. Okay. But for the rest of our spending, we have a little control over. We have a control if we eat out. We have a control on our grocery bill. We have control on even what types of food we're um, putting into our body and how much it costs. We have control over extracurricular activities. So if you go to the movies, if you um, do sports activities or if your kids are in sports activities, now fun stuff that you have, date night or any of that stuff is all in the type of budget that you can pare down or get rid of. All of that stuff is exactly what you're gonna take a look at and see where exactly are you spending your money and what can you cut from your life. I found out from my analyze, analyzing of my data is I spend a lot of money at Target. Target is my weakness. I would go through there without a list, kind of knowing what I needed to get, but they have some cutest things. And then the sale items, and I'd be like, oh, glitter, sparkle, love it. I'm gonna put all that in my card, and then $300 later, I'm leaving Target. Yeah, $300 later. From the home goods, and from clothing, and yeah, you name it. It was going in my cart. Super cute. Okay, so I knew that after analyzing the Target was my weakness. Now, as you know, as I've talked before, I do have a Target budget budget for a two week Target budget, but I put myself on that budget knowing that's my spending habit. 
I like Target. I go there. I go there now with a list and I make sure that I don't go over my budget anymore. I don't put those sparkle things into my cart. I stick to my list and I stick to my budget. I do though put a little extra fun money into my Target budget knowing that I might want to put on the list a cute little pillow I saw or a blanket or some outfit for the kids or so, you name it the sparkle the glitter effect I did put a little cushion into my target knowing that that's my fun money because even though when you do a budget you want to make sure that you are putting fun money in there you want to be successful at this you want to make sure you stay on the budget how do you stay on the budget you make sure it's not um, restraining you so much that you're willing to go off of it and then what's the point of being on the budget so do make sure that you put some fun money in there whatever it is that you like to do whatever that fun is my fun's target but other people are eating out at a restaurant or going to the movies or playing golf those type of activities we don't want you to go completely cold turkey, but we don't want you going overboard either like I was at Target. That's a no-go. We're not doing that anymore. You gotta restrict yourself. If you're trying to get yourself under a budget, have a savings, get out of debt, whatever your goal is. We can restrict ourselves, tighten the reins, but still have some fun money. Now me, ideally, what I want to get to is a 70-30 split. I live on 70% of what I make and 30% will go to like savings, emergency fund, travel account, stuff like that. But while I'm under debt, that is not the split. I am spending 100% of my check, which is not where we want to be in order to pay off that debt. So. First step, analyze what you spend your money on and where can we tighten the reins. Now, of course, the first couple times you do this, you're going to have to adjust month after month to see what you really can live without and maybe what you can't. And budgets are always fluid. You're always going to move them around. Like our summer budget is really strict because our daycare doubles because one of the kids not in school. And then we have all the summer activities. We have some swim lessons and we have camps and out water activities and all kinds of things during the summer. So remember that your budget will always be fluid, but let's find out first, where are you spending your money? All right, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And of course, remember to subscribe. Until next time, bye everyone.